you know are you checking your supplies and you know going through your gear and stuff and checking your gear out and making sure that everything is good to go in case of an emergency situation now I have talked about in several of my videos and stuff having some type of a notebook a journal um, any of those type of things to make sure that you know you can keep a tally of what you have and um, if you really wanted to get real down to basics you could write down expiration dates on say food products and things of that nature it's all on how far you really want to go with this I don't think there's really a wrong way to do this as long as you are taking stock and you know what you have you know that your gear is good it doesn't need repair you don't have rips and tears in your tarps your tent your tent leaks your tarps leak you need to upgrade some products that is all part of maintaining your gear you want to make sure that when you're maintaining your gear as you use your gear if you notice something is wrong take it out of your supplies either you're hiking camping bushcrafting whatever take it out and keep it out somewhere where you can constantly see it and remember to either get it fixed or replace it before a situation arises and you need that piece of gear now as far as your survival supplies and stuff depending on where you live you have different types of survival supplies well, I have done videos on this also so if you're interested in some of the things that I've talked about in the past go back and check out some of the videos just to touch base on that real quick uh, with your survival supplies as in your food and water and your ways to purify food your ways to cook make sure that all those things are always either up to par up in stock you have plenty a lot of people you use a rotating stock supplies so that you can you know you don't have to really worry about your dates too much but you probably do have some things that you would probably only use in an emergency situation so you want to keep an eye on those dates and remember the date is just a best buy date to be sold this is the biggest misconception out there that's when the grocery store or whatever store you buy it from that the company that canned that product says by that date they guarantee the freshness now it'll still be good afterwards I think probably the first thing to go would be anything with spaghetti sauce because of the acid you want to watch for bulging cans rusting cans if you store this stuff properly you'll probably get a little bit longer life out of it fruit may be another one but then when you get into your canned potatoes and green beans and veggies and stuff like that they can last quite a long time after the best buy date so remember that that is just the best buy date that they guarantee the freshness I see a lot of comments out there on YouTube and everything else on my videos on a lot of videos and everything and that is something that's always asked or people are always talking about and that's the biggest misconception out there people don't understand they think when that day gets here they have to throw it in a trash can and you're throwing away your hard-earned money you won't want to do that also when you're going through your your survival stuff as far as your food and your products like that you want to make sure that you have stuff that a lot of people just don't think about you want to make sure that you have either plastic or paper cups paper plates you don't want to have to keep having if you're out of water you know you want your water so that you can drink you don't want to have to use your water to clean dishes and everything else if you store baby wipes you can use those instead of taking a shower yes a shower would be nice I've done videos on how to get around some of those things and be ready for them you know if you're limited on water you need the water to intake as far as to drink and cook with jerry cans they're not metal they're plastic they run you like 15 20 bucks and they're between five and seven gallons and you could take a couple of those and use those for your bathing you know washing dishes or taking a sponge bath and stuff like that if you just you know if you really wanted to do that they don't really take up a lot of room you fill them up before the uh, say like a hurricane in my situation you just want to make sure that you're checking your supplies checking your gear 
going through your gear, making sure that your gear is in good shape. Like I said, there's no rips, there's no tears, everything works, your blades are sharpened, all that type of stuff. And you wanna be ready and prepared just in case an emergency situation arises. 